The only real hope and change you'll ever get is from God. It's going to come from the Lord or it's not going to come at all. It's going to come when you admit that you can't do it and that you've got to have His help. The heart is deceitful above all things. The verse demons don't want you to know. Have you ever heard the following saying? Number one, follow your heart. Number two, don't follow a trend, follow your heart. Number three, you can do anything as long as you don't stop believing. When it is meant to be, it will be. You just have to follow your heart. And number four, there is no path to success. Everyone constructs their own path. The important thing is to follow your heart. Find your niche is my best advice. The Bible never ever tells us to follow our heart. But our world and the culture of today tells us time and time again to follow your heart. Jeremiah 17 verse 9, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? This is our verse today. The context of Jeremiah 17 verse 9 speaks of Judah's sinfulness. In spite of all the blessings of God, the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? The Bible tells us our hearts are deceitful. And not only are they deceitful, they are desperately wicked. You may say to me, Pastor, I know my heart. I know my heart. Are you sure? Are you absolutely certain that you know your heart? The truth is, you don't truly know your heart because to know your heart is to say you know how you will react in every single situation. There are some situations that a person can go through and those situations will lead that person to respond out of character. You don't know your heart. You don't know what your breaking point is. You don't know what can push you over to cross the line for you to behave out of character. Life can present situations like this, situations that push you to your breaking point, situations that push you to the breaking point to where you do things that you never imagined doing. Do you know there are people in prison right now in this very moment because they did something that they never thought that they would do? Do you know that there are people who have ruined their very own lives because they did things they never thought they were even capable of doing. You don't know your heart. You don't know the evil in the human heart. Look at all the murderers in prison. I guarantee you, if you were to see the pictures of them as little boys or little girls, you would never have predicted they would be murderers. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. No one knows the evil that the human heart is capable of doing. There are those who attempt to preach the message that human beings are good by nature. No, they are not. We don't know the wickedness that is in people's hearts. How many times have people said, I don't know what made me do that? How many times have we heard people say, I don't know what came over me? How many times have we heard people say, I don't know why I did that? And the truth is, they don't know why. The heart is deceitful. The human heart is diseased with sin. You don't know your heart. Don't trust your heart. Don't trust your feelings. Trust the Word of God and trust the Holy Spirit and not yourself. The heart can refer to many things, but in this context, it is the seat of the soul, the emotions and the desires. Being led by the heart is to be led by lusts or emotionalism. You are to be led by a renewed mind, not by your heart, not by your emotions. I remember counseling a couple that was on the brink of divorce. The wife had committed adultery with a colleague she worked with. She had been working with this colleague for some time. And during the process of time, because they were working so closely together, they got closer and closer and began to develop feelings for one another. She stated that the affair happened because I followed my heart. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. 
If this woman had followed a mind renewed by the word of God, she would not have committed adultery. And as a pastor, you get to see these things. You get to see the deceptive nature of the human heart. I have seen people walk down the aisle with someone they should not be marrying. Their parents tell them not to marry this person. Their friends warn them not to marry this person. But they go ahead and marry this person because they are following their heart rather than seeing that this person I am about to commit my future to does not possess the characteristics that will make a great life partner for me. They go ahead and marry them following their heart. Allow me to give you some real world examples of how deceitful the human heart is. The human heart is so deceitful that it sometimes leads people into interpreting scripture to suit their own wants and desires. I have seen men literally sit there with the Bible and attempt to explain how the Bible calls them to have more than one wife. And I was actually astonished at the fact that this man was reading into the scripture his own lustful desires. He went on point by point, explaining how he was called to have more than one wife. People are literally twisting scripture to suit their sinful heart's desires. The human heart is so deceitful that it can lead a person to justify their own sins using the Bible, misquoting and misinterpreting scripture. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. He stated different characters in the Bible who had more than one wife and used these examples as his basis for his sinful lifestyle. One of the most important things to remember when reading the Bible is that yes, the Word of God is indeed inspired by the Holy Spirit. However, it is also important to remember that the Bible is an accurate record of history. And some of the information you read in the Bible does not mean God condones it or God condoned people's decisions. No, some of the information we are given in the Bible is for us to know the context and the scenario. Just because it is in the Bible does not mean God condoned it. The Bible is being transparent, showing us human beings' choices. I remember watching a courtroom's proceeding and a woman was in court to divorce her husband because she was not happy anymore and her heart was not in the marriage anymore. The man had not cheated. By her own admission, the man was a good husband who provided for the family, but there was no longer any spark in the relationship anymore. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. And unfortunately, this is something that is becoming more and more common. Marriage is about loyalty. Marriage is about faithfulness in the good and bad times. Marriage is about trustworthiness. Marriage is about commitment. Marriage is not just for when you are happy and the sparks are flying. No, marriage is a commitment. You made the decision to marry that man. You made the decision to marry that woman. Honor your commitment. Unfortunately, with the introduction of social media, people compare their marriages to other people. You don't know what is going on in other people's marriages. Don't compare it to yours. People lie on social media. People pretend that stuff is not real. There are people who are being deceived right now by their very own hearts. They believe they are living in fellowship with God. They believe in their hearts that they are going to heaven, yet they are not born again. There are those who attempt to preach the message that human beings are good by nature. No, they are not. We don't know the wickedness that is in people's hearts. How many times have people said, I don't know what made me do that? How many times have we heard people say, I don't know what came over me? The heart is deceitful. You need a new heart. And the only one who can give you a new heart is God Almighty. He is the only one that can change the human heart. The only hope for the sinful human heart is to be supernaturally changed. You must be born again. The new covenant brings inner transformation. 
Jeremiah 31 verse 33, But this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, says the Lord. I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. John 7 verse 38 He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of living water. Only God, only God can change your heart. A new heart from God is one that follows his commands. A heart that seeks and thirsts after righteousness. A new heart is a heart that seeks to please God and walk by the Spirit so that we resist the lust of the flesh. Your problem today is not that you are not trying hard enough. Your problem today is that you do not have a new heart. God's new heart will aid in your walk with Him. You will not be comfortable with sin and all its filth. You will only be comfortable with the things of God. How can I receive a new heart? The answer is simple. Be born again. And once you are born again, you need to begin to read the Word of God to renew your mind. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18 But we all, with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. As we behold the glory of God, we will be transformed. God will change our lives and change us from the inside out. Paul writes that this change happens from one degree of glory to another, or from glory to glory in the Greek language. In other words, right now, if you are indeed born again, there is a transformation that is taking place in your life. You are moving closer and closer into the same image, from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. Your heart is being transformed by God today. Notice also in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers. It takes the grace of God to change us, folks. How can you be saved if you're not willing to repent? And the Lord Jesus Christ said, except you repent, ye shall all likewise perish.